Hi, I'm Baba Tony. Welcome to my channel Africa Every Day. Today I'll be showing you a special recipe. A recipe that is our uh, we eat it in Nigerian, but it's not entirely local. Uh, we have it as a result of our westernization. So, and then now it's a kind of our recipe that is our uh, I'm very sure about 80%, more than 80% of Nigerians will not will not use will not be able to afford to eat it uh, because it's uh, relatively expensive. And it's also now filling. So, and that's what we'll call the, the fried plantain and fried egg. So that's what I'll be preparing today. This is our plantain. I'm going to fry this. So, and how we generally, how we generally prepare, generally prepare our, our banana for frying. You know? Now, before I continue on the video, I'd like to show my full appreciation to my patrons. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Without you, all this would not be possible. All my patrons, for your support. Your support has been phenomenal and it's been wonderful in my life. Thank you so much for standing firmly behind this channel. Especially Mr. Mike Atomic Shrimp. A very wonderful... <laughs> Wonderful, kind, generous, you know, empathic, and now uh, I don't even know the right attitude we used to qualify him again. A selfless man. Thank you so much, Mr. Mike, and my other patrons too. I'm very, very grateful to you guys. It's a very, very simple dish that a majority of Nigerians will not like eating it simply because it's not filling and it's uh, relatively expensive. After this video, I'm going to try scrambled egg. I've been seeing it in movies, I've been hearing it in movies before, but I have never tried it once. When we're talking about scrambled egg is different from frying eggs. It's a different. When you're frying egg, aside from the our sauce that you will be adding, you're not gonna add any other ingredient to the egg. So this is the quantity of the sliced plantain that I'll be using. Now I want to add a, a pinch of salt. That's the salt to mix everything together. Now, uh, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we have some men in Nigeria that they believe that when they eat too much vegetable oil, that this causes them hemorrhoid and back pain. Oh, I'm not a doctor. I don't know how true that is. So we have a lot of, uh, we have many Nigerian men that they believe that uh, they, they try to avoid uh, any kind of recipe that involves too much vegetable oil. They believe it causes them hemorrhoid and back pain. for me, I've never felt it before. And I don't know if that is uh, if that is true or false. Please, whatever our uh, knowledge, whatever experience you have about that, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll surely go through your comment sections. You know that I read, I respond to my to the comments. You guys are part of my family. You are my online family, and I'm grateful to you guys for your support. I'm going to be defrying the plantain. This is my my one and only frying pan. It's to be deep frying. They have to economize. I don't have much vegetable oil. So I have to try as much as possible to economize it. So I will allow it to heat probably for like a minute before putting the sliced plantain in it. Now, while the, the vegetable oil is heating up, I want to prepare the egg. Reason now. Uh, Four eggs. In Nigeria, we still don't know what we call a uh, uh, what do you call a uh, that kind of egg that is uh, laid by by naturally bred uh, chicken. Is it, is, is it grass egg or biology egg? I've forgotten what it's called. We still don't know <laughs> anything about that. Is it not? Maybe is is it called organic? Egg. I'm not sure what it's called. Organic egg. <laughs> I don't know what that is called. So right here, this is the seasoning that I'm going to use. I love onion a lot. I've been saying that in many of my previous videos. I love onions, my potato, then my scotch bonnet. That would be, that's what would be the sauce in the preparation of this. All right. Oh my God. 
This is Lee Sound. Oh my god, I was scared. As much as I love the sizzling sound, I also hear it. Because it scares me, you know. Once the uh, vegetable bubble lands on your, on your skin, you will feel it instantly. This will be two batches. Oh my god. <laughs> now time for the seasoning. Just want to mix everything together for the potato uh, for the potato for some people they love a lot of potato in their egg but as for me I really don't like it much though <clears throat> I don't like it if it's not present but too much of it I don't like it at all This is scotch bonnet, very very hot. You have to be careful. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is that I would like my Western friends to try this. You can easily get scotch bonnet. You can, you can get all the ingredients. I don't know if it is possible to get our plantain all over the United States and uh, other Western countries. But uh, Mr. Mike can easily get this. So uh, I wish for Mr. Mike to try this. Atomic shrimp. You have to... You have to be careful of the scotch bonnet because it's very very hot so that you not burn your tongue while you're trying to to enjoy it i love onion in my food i love onion in almost all my food i try to put as much onion as possible on it without sacrificing the aroma and the taste of the dish now a pinch of salt too that is a just salt so that everything would mix together it is now time for everything to be mixed you know the key is just to mix the the yolk together with the album the album yes the white part is called uh, album we were taught in agricultural science when I was in our secondary school. Our own high school is called secondary school here in Nigeria. We follow British school education system. That's what we follow in Nigeria. So when a Nigerian says secondary school, they are referring to high school. So this is the first batch. I've turned it over. So the moment it is uh, golden brown, that means that uh, your plantain, your fried plantain is done. It's, what you are looking for is golden brown. Just like this now. I'm supposed to deep fry them, but because of uh, not enough vegetable oil, that's why I have to be turning them over. I didn't have deep frying, there will not be any need for me to be turning them over. But as far as I'm concerned, that one is done. I'll still get every drop of vegetable oil. I'll still get them back. That's why I'm using this sieve. I'll get them all back. Please, if you have any question concerning this, you can ask me. In the description of the video, my email address will be there. Also, my WhatsApp number, my Telegram number will be there. Also, if you want to become my patron, the link will also be there. The support to be enormously appreciated. It doesn't matter, the other side will cover for it. Come on now, bros. Alright, let me leave that. So, uh, the next batch now, the last batch. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm always scared of, uh, of heated or hot vegetable oil. I'm always scared of it. I don't play with it at all. Okay, so after in the next five minutes, I'll check this to see if those the side facing the frying pan is done before I start turning it over. All right, 
I've changed the plates of the for the egg. So this one is far far better than that. Now that one was too flat. So mix everything together. For some people, they will like their onion, their potato, and also their scotch bonnet to be sliced very thin. But for me, I love them sliced big. So that is my own style. I love that. Though my, my wife doesn't like that. But for me, this is the one that I prefer. Sliced big. I want to be seeing it. I want to be seeing it in my food. When I'm eating, I, want, I should be able to pick them. Only. Okay. It's now for the egg to be fried. They're very simple. It is the same. It is the same oil that I'm using. It is the oil that I used to fry the plantain that I'm using. The same vegetable oil. With that now, I have turned the sliced plantain into what we call dodo. Okay. There are different there are two types of ways that you can use to to fry the egg. Oh my god. The water. Two ways. For example, now you can you can fry it flat, in which all of them will form a kind of a, a gelatin flour. All of them will form together just like we have it like this. All of them will form together like a slab. And another method is by crumping it. You make sure you break them into uh, small, small chunks. And that is the best method that I use. That is my best method. I love breaking it into into chunks. I don't want I don't want everything to to blend together, to fry together and become like a flour. I don't want that. So to get this one you have to be stirring everything in the pan. You have to be stir you have to be stirring it. If I have to use the flat one, I just need to put the mixture inside the pan and leave it alone. Everything will form due to the shape of the frying pan. But for this now, you have to stir the mixture. It's as you are stirring to be breaking up into smaller chunks. So this one is different from scrambling egg. This is frying, we are frying egg. This is not scrambling. So it is now ready to be served. Now for your information now, every piece of plastic that you see here in this video, they are reusable except the plastic bag. This one, I disposable they are not just one time use all others they are all reusable so even though the, the control i'm saying the whole continent hasn't waken up yet to the impact that plastic has on our on our environment for some for a few of us we've started to we've been knowing about that as a result of the kind of movies and our uh, the kind of shows and our uh, news that we are listening to so we are doing everything we can in our own little way to make the world a better and a clean place. We only have one planet to live. As far as I'm concerned, as far as what we know now, there is only one planet that is habitable, and that is planet Earth. So, right here, as for example now, this plastic, uh, you call Lado, has been with us for the past five years. You can see that now. It's plastic, but has been with us for the past five years. Okay, that is the egg. Now, the decoration now. Mm -hmm. So, the decoration has to go. So, I would like you to try this. It's a very simple recipe. Uh, when I say it's popular, it's not popular in Nigeria <laughs> simply because it is relatively expensive. And number two, it is now filling. You know, when you eat this as a typical Nigerian, in the next two, three hours, you'll be feeling hungry again. And typically in Nigeria, we eat to fill up our stomach. We eat to kill hunger. Typically speaking, an average Nigerian eat to kill hunger. That's the reason why we eat. So this is what we call fried egg and uh, fried 
plantain. So this is called plantain. Oh, this one in Yoruba language is what it's called dodo. D-O-D-O. -D -O. This is called dodo in Yoruba language. But English call it fried plantain. So the last time I ate this was about four years ago when I visited a friend of mine who's from a very rich family. That was the last time that I ate this. So I'm trying it again after four years. Mm. It is yummy. Of course. This is in Western country. Try this. And I promise you, I tell you, you are going to enjoy this. As far as I'm concerned, many of you already know the taste of fried egg. Let me say you guys don't fry egg there. You scrambled egg, you don't fry egg there. But I'm sure scrambled egg taste will be similar to that of um, scrambled egg. So, I have no food in the in Western world that I can use to compare this. Though, the whole recipe is oily, of course. If you're allergic to oil or you don't like it, obviously, I'm not supposed to, uh, I'm not supposed to enjoy this. So it's a lovely recipe and I want to try it and now uh, get back to me. Let's see if you really enjoy it. Now this is not common in Nigeria because it's only for the for the 20% of Nigeria because it's relatively expensive and it's not it's not filling. More than now, uh, 75% of Nigeria we eat just to fill up our stomach. Not because of kind of vitamin or mineral that will make us to live a healthy and a better life because of the hardship and the economic situation of Nigeria. Right, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Spira, thanks again to my patrons. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate you guys. All of you, from me to Z, I'm very grateful to you guys. Thank you so much. I told me to Mr. Mike. I wish you, I hope all your family members are doing great. I wish them all the best. Thank you so much. See you next time.